Alright, we're looking at forms of the finite verb. Um, verbs are distinguished by number, singular or plural, and by person, such as uh, first, second, or third. In general, verbs have a different form only in the third person singular of the present tense. Um, I, you, we, they move, but he, she, it moves. Um, an exception is the verb to be, which is uh, more highly inflected. Uh, singular, I am, you are, he, she, it is, plural, we, you, they are. Um, here's some basic ingredients that make up the finite verb, um, and I'll give some examples of the common forms. Uh, uh, the finite verb can be a one-word verb with an indication of present or past tense. Um, watch. Watched. Or freeze. Froze. Okay, um, the finite verb can also be a group of words composed of one or more of the following ingredients. Model auxiliaries, such as will, would, can, must, etc. Um, perfect auxiliaries, a part of the verb have, part of the verb have, plus an n or ed ending, plus n or ed ending. Um, progressive auxiliary, progressive auxiliaries, a part of the verb B, part of verb B plus an ing ending. Um, passive auxiliary, part of the verb B plus N or ED ending. Uh, main verb, such as a uh, watch. All right. The model auxiliary is added to the main verb, may watch, must watch. Um, the perfect progressive or passive auxiliary surrounds the next form of the finite verb. Um, some example of the surrounding process uh, as follows. So, perfect auxiliary. Um, which is a part of have plus ed surrounding, say, watch. Um, he has watch you. All right. Um, as we can see, ed is append to the main verb right here. All right. Progressive. Part of b plus ing starting watch. I was watching you. Perfect. A part of half plus n surrounding b. And the progressive is a part of b plus ing surrounding watch. Um, here. These, uh, an example for this can be, I had been watching. <laughs>